If you're finding it difficult to find the velocity sensitivity settings here in GarageBand, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now I have done a video all about velocity sensitivity before, but I've had a question recently and I get this quite often, which is from folks trying to find the velocity sensitivity. Now if you've got a question about GarageBand or anything home recording, drop that down in the comments and I'm more than happy to answer it. But for this one, the key is, if you're in the track view, like we are here, what you'll notice is that velocity sensitivity is not here. The birds are not happy with it, I'm not happy with it. So if you're trying to dial it in, you've got quantization, you've got transposition, and you've got recording, you don't have your velocity sensitivity. But if you press on the instrument icon here, boom, there's our velocity sensitivity. We can dial it in from high, which means that we get a lot more range. If we hit harder, it's harder. If we hit softer, it's less loud. Or we can go down to off which means no matter how hard we hit, it's gonna be the same volume. Now, the other instrument I use this on a lot is the drum. So if we tap plus and we hit acoustic drums, now we can once again go to our plugins and EQ in the top left here. We can go to track settings and there it is. We can dial in our velocity sensitivity or turn it off. The problem is though, if we're here in our track view, we're looking at that exact same menu it's not there. So all you need to remember about velocity sensitivity is if you want to enable it or if you want to change it, make sure you're in your instrument view and the velocity sensitivity will pop up. Thanks for watching this one. There's two more videos linked down below. If you want to learn more about GarageBand, subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner and I'll see you on the next one.